Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Today is all about ruins as the Bitcoin halving is happening on April 19th and ruins are going to go live slightly before that. So in today's video, I'm going to try to answer every possible question you could have about ruins. This is going to be high level stuff, so I'm not going to go deep into the weeds on how the tech behind ruins works. So as usual, nothing in this video is financial advice. And if you enjoy my content, if you appreciate it, would you kindly hit that subscribe button and smash the like button as it really helps my channel reach a wider audience. So first off, what are ruins? Well, ruins are a brand new protocol by Casey. Rodimer, who is this guy in the Viking outfit who also happens to be the creator of ordinals. So all the NFTs on Bitcoin that we've been trading, he is the person who created it and he is very well respected in the space. Now the ruins protocol allows us to create tokens on Bitcoin, similar to how on Ethereum, there's tokens launching every 20 seconds. We're now going to be able to do that on Bitcoin. So yes, there's about to be a ton of meme coins that hit the market, as well as some utility tokens that are linked to specific platforms. So if you're able to find the right ones, there are plenty of gen wealth opportunities that are available in the coming days. Now, if you're familiar with Bitcoin and ordinals, your next question is probably, don't we already have tokens on Bitcoin in the form of BRC20? And for that, the answer is sort of, but the tech behind BRC20 is outdated. And a lot of BRC20 tokens are actually going to migrate to the ruins protocol, which is one of the reasons that a lot of the existing BRC20s are pumping, which we're going to look at in a little bit. But basically ruins are going to become the standard that every Everybody is going to be using. Now, a few things that are good to know about ruins. The first one is that no two ruin tokens can have the same name or the same ticker. Unlike on ETH where there's 20 Pepe tokens and 19 of them are scams and you have to figure out which one is the correct one for ruins. You can only have one with that name. Now, the other thing is the tickers are going to start with a minimum of 13 characters. So on ETH, on Solana, we have Pepe, we have Whiff, we have a ton of tokens with very short names for ruins it's going to start off as 13 characters or more. And then every four months, you're going to be able to etch a ticker with one character less. So four months, it's going to go to 12, four months more, it's going to go to 11 and so on. So in a sense, every four months, there's going to be a rush for people to etch certain names. Like if we get down to four characters, somebody's going to rush to mint Pepe. So it's good to keep the four month timeline in your mind in case there are some opportunities that pop up. Now, some other things you should know, there are some terms that you're going to be hearing a lot of. One of them is etching. The other one is minting. Etching is essentially when you create a ruin. So you are bringing it to existence through code. And minting is similar to minting on ordinals or NFTs. And if you want to read about these terms in more detail, as well as a ton of info on ruins, I'm going to link these docs in the description down below, which are by Casey himself. So now that that's out of the way, your next question is probably how do I access ruins? What are the tools that I need to access them? Well, the minimum you're going to need is of course, a wallet with some Bitcoin in it. Now, my preferred choice is Xverse. This is one of the wallets I use, but it's really my go to wallet for holding my Bitcoin as well as trading ordinals. And they have said they will support ruins, potentially not on the first day. However, within the first week, I expect them to have ruin support available through the wallet. However, if you want to go a step further and get a potential edge over other people, you could look into setting up your own Bitcoin node. If you had a node set up when ordinals launched, you had a massive advantage because you were able to inscribe ordinals on your own. So you could have potentially inscribed an entire ordinals collection sub 10 K. So in this case, you could potentially etch your own ruins. Now, even if you don't plan to create your own ruins, a node could potentially give you an advantage because the tools that we're going to be using to buy, sell, trade these ruins could get overloaded. Like we, we don't know if some of these platforms are going to crash. And if you have your own node, you're going to be able to bypass everybody. So it is possible that it gives you a major advantage. If you want to know how to set up your own node, I'm going to link a few videos down below. One of them by Paz, where he goes through step by step. There's also two videos by Cali, where he really goes step by step how to set up your node and then how to do everything from etching to sending ruins tokens. So you already have a wallet. You already have a node set up. Your next question is probably where do I trade ruins? And while many platforms are going to support it, the thing you need to know is most of them, or if not all of them are not going to support it on day one. So trading is probably not going to be available on day one on these platforms. And it could very well be like the old school ordinals where people were jumping in discords and trading 
on Google Spreadsheets. Now, the main place most of us trade ordinals is on Magic Eden. And if you go to the top here, you'll notice that they have a ruins tab. Now, there's nothing available on the page itself. However, it will be available within the first week, according to the team members that I've spoken to. Again, not on day one, but the first week. So Magic Eden is really the go-to trading platform for ordinals. So it makes sense that a lot of people are looking to it to trade ruin tokens. Now, there's also a ton of other platforms, tools that I'm looking at. Most of them are going to have their own ruins token. So we're just going to go through a list here of the ones that I have an eye on. The first one is Runevo. I did have a call with the team and they are developing both an app as well as a telegram bot to trade ruin tokens and most of us trade meme coins on eth solana base avax wherever through telegram bots so if they're able to build a really good bot this could end up being the go-to tool for trading ruins now they do have a mint that dropped yesterday at the time of you watching this video i film this in advance because i'm headed to dubai for token 2049 if you're there hit me up but i have no idea how it performed it is a roughly 6k collection and i do know it's going to give you benefits towards their platform and they do plan on having their own ruin token so it's very possible that holders of the ordinal are going to get exposure to their token simply for holding next in the platforms that i'm looking at we have ruins terminal if we look on their website you could see they're building a ton of products they're going to have ruin scan which is like ether scan base scan right to look at data and transactions they're going to have ruins pad which is going to be a launch pad for ruin tokens they're going to have ruins etcher which is going to allow you also to create your own tokens as well as ruins book which is just going to be like a wiki for ruins however they just had their own mint called ape odyssey it was free to mint and these things flew there currently at a 0.035 bitcoin floor which is roughly like 2300 dollars at current bitcoin prices and they've already announced that they will have a rooney token and holding the nfts is going to get you access to the token so they have been performing really well i actually picked some up on the secondary market on top of holding the one that I minted, because if they're gonna have a launch pad, it could be really good to have exposure to their token. The next platform that I'm watching is Liquidium. This is one that I covered in my Bitcoin airdrop video a couple of months ago. I've actually been farming it for points because you do get points whenever you lend people Bitcoin. You can also borrow against your ordinals. And although they haven't confirmed it, I assume with the points, they have a leaderboard. I'm assuming that there's a very good chance that they have their own ruin token that I can get airdrop to me. And there's currently only like 2,500 people farming this platform. So I'm willing to take the risk because on top of lending people Bitcoin, I am making an APY on this. And if people default on their loans, like right now I have loans out for two Bitcoin puppets, the loan costed me 0.26 and the current floor is like 0.44 Bitcoin. So if they default, if they don't pay it back, I'm getting these puppets like a 0.18 discount. But the whole point of me talking about this platform, other than a potential ruin airdrop, if you look on top at the tabs here, you could see that they are gonna have loans available for ruins. So they're also gonna have support for ruins. Again, that's why it just makes sense that they're going to have their own ruin token. Now, two more platforms real quick that I'm also looking at. The first one is Saturn. This is a platform that allows you to trade rare sats, and they are also going to add support for ruins. However, a couple of months ago, they launched their own BRC20 token called Rug in collaboration with Ordinal Rugs, and they have already confirmed that they are going to be migrating over to ruins. So it's another one that I'm keeping an eye on, as well as Ordzar, which is a platform for minting ordinal. I recently minted the Ruin Terminal NFTs on this platform, and they also have their own NFT that's coming out, as well as plans for their own Ruin token. So these are all the ones that I'm trying to get exposure to. However, if you've been following the Ordinal space, there's a ton of collections that can also get you exposure to Ruins tokens. Now, if we head back over to Magic Eden, you can see there's a pre-Ruins tab, and these are all the Ordinals that are going to get you exposure to a Ruin token. It doesn't mean that all these ruins are going to perform well but the main three i assume you're seeing everywhere are ruin stone the ruin pups as well as are sick. Now there's also a bunch more. Some of these were airdropped to your wallet for absolutely free. If I just jump over into one of my wallets, you can see I got this one, these two, these two all for free. Like some of them are trading for 40 bucks. Some of them, this one here is trading for a hundred bucks. I got some the other day. I sold them for a few hundred dollars. So I'm literally getting airdropped ordinals for absolutely free that are going to lead to a ruin, which is really cool because it's free money. But again, the ones that everybody is paying attention to are these three right here. So let's talk about each 
each one. The first one is Ruin Stones. These ones have performed incredibly well, currently at a 0.077 Bitcoin floor, which is roughly $5,000, which is amazing for a collection of this size with a supply of 112,000. These were airdropped for absolutely free if you met certain criteria. So if you have a wallet that has three ordinals in it before a certain date, there's a chance you have one of these sitting in that wallet. So it's really worth it to go back and look at whatever wallet you created in the past. However, Leonidas has said that these are going to lead to multiple airdrops, the first of which is going to be a dog related meme coin. So it could be the first dog coin on ruins and potentially go to the moon. Now, people keep asking me, should I buy these? Are you holding yours? Look, I got two airdropped for free. I sold one, so I locked in profits and I'm just holding one for the token airdrops. But I don't know if you should go buy one. I don't know if they're gonna go up. Like I said, it's a big supply, 112,000, and they went from zero to currently $5,000. So the way I'm looking at these, it's like getting into a pre-sale for a token. Sometimes you make money, sometimes you don't. Now, the second one everybody is talking about is is Arsic. This one's been available for a while, so you've probably heard of it. Essentially, if you own one of these, you are accumulating points. But the downside here, the re one of the reasons I was scared to buy one of these is that when you buy it off somebody, they keep their points. So if I were to buy one now, I'm starting from zero and ruins are right around the corner. Now, the founder of this collection has said that he won't let this one die. He's going to keep working on it. But just keep that in mind. If you're buying it, you're not going to get the person who held it. You're not going to get their points. And and the third one is, of course, Ruins Pups, which were airdropped to the puppet holders and have performed incredibly well, especially after Ansem spoke about them on his live stream to like 100,000 people. These were trading as little as 0.009 Bitcoin. And as you can see by the price, they have 15 and a half X. They were even higher. They were closer to 0.2 earlier this week. And one of the reasons, of course, is Ansem talking about them. But the other reason is Puppets is a really Really good collection. A lot of people like it. They compare it to Milady's on Ethereum. So it's like the number one meme collection on Bitcoin. So it only makes sense that the number one meme NFT or ordinal on Bitcoin would be paired with one of the top, if not the top meme coin on Bitcoin. Now, like I said, they have 15 and a half X, so they already went up a lot. So be careful if you're buying into these, but we're going to get some multi-million dollar market cap coins on Bitcoin. So there's potentially a lot of upside for these as well. Now, on top of the ordinals, you have to keep in mind, there's also their BRC20 called Pups, which has also exploded. There's a ton of BRC20s that are going to be migrating over to ruins. And a lot of them have been performing incredibly well, like Wizard. There's been node and a few others if you want alpha on this kind of stuff i would suggest following cali he's a youtuber he's also one of the callers in my group and he does really great content on both airdrops as well as all things ordinals and ruins and brc20 you can see here he's had some amazing calls in the recent weeks leading in to ruins so i assume once ruins drop he's going to continue crushing it so definitely throw him a follow and check out his youtube channel so the last question that you probably have is what's going to happen once ruins drop do i think it's going to be a buy the rumor sell the news moment do i think it's going to make us all overnight millionaires well first of all i have no idea i don't have a crystal ball but I do feel that a lot of the Ruin stuff has pumped a lot and in a way it kind of is already priced in, but I do think there is a ton of upside on the right collections, many of them that have not even launched yet. Because like I said, we will definitely have multi-billion dollar market cap Ruin tokens. It's just a question of picking the right ones. Now, I am a little bit worried that the marketplace is trading. None of that is going to go live on day one. It's going to take a couple of days for it to get there. So I'm a little bit scared that we do have a buy the rumor, sell the news moment similar to Blast. Like everybody was really excited for Blast. We all thought we were going to be instant millionaires. And then, you know, trading for Blast NFTs is still not available on Blur. It was ready on OpenSea before it's available on Blur. And I did find it really killed a lot of momentum for or blast NFTs because everybody was using the element marketplace, which wasn't able to handle the traffic. So I do see a potential for a small cool off period, but as soon as one token just pops off, everybody's going to be piling in. Everybody's going to be FOMOing. People are going to be trying to figure out how to set up a wallet, how to set up a node, how to get exposure to this stuff. There's going to be more ordinals launching that are going to give you access to their token. Some of these platform tokens are going to do really well. So I do think it's good to have exposure. I do think there are going to be plenty of opportunities for gen wealth. 
You just have to be in the right circles, in the right alpha group, or be putting in the time and research and playing it smart. Now, the other thing that I predict happening, which is something that NFT boy mentioned in a tweet here, is that people are going to make money in ruins and that money is gonna flow into ordinals because all of a sudden people are gonna have, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in Bitcoin that they've never had before, and they're going to feel rich and want to spend that money on something. And what he predicts here is that the money is going to flow into sub 1K collections, as well as the top three, which are node monkeys, puppets, as well as OMB. I would also throw in quantum cats in here just because it's linked back to the taproot wizards. And I would also suggest being on the lookout for the first nine ruins, which are going to be hard coded by Casey himself. So I assume one of the Ruin tokens that the founder of Ruins is launching is going to perform incredibly well, possibly the first one, but who knows? That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.